Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 586. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 586 to 590. In this trick here, we want to count with three criteria, except for we have an approximate match, right? We need to find neighborhood in this column, but sometimes it says neighborhood T, neighborhood West, downtown neighborhood. So we need to get a true if there's an approximate match or partial text criteria, right? We want to find neighborhood within a larger text string. Then we need yes here and tier one here. So you can see the formatting there says those are ones we want to count. Now the only tricky part to this is going to be the approximate match and I'm going to use the search function. We're going to have some arrays here. So let me do that again. Equals S tab search. The text to find is going to be that comma within what? Now normally you click on a single cell and it would say one because it's the first text. If I were to uh, highlight this and hit the F9 you can see it says one, control Z. If I were looking right here it would say one, two, three, four. F9 you can see it says four. But I need to go through the whole list, control Z. I need to go through the entire list. Now what is this going to do? It's going to return a bunch of numbers and I want to say um, is number and I'll get a true, true, true and the value errors will be skipped over. So control Z and I'll say is number. Is number just gives you a true if it's a number, a false if it's not. So now I get a bunch of F9 trues and falses. Now that's the tricky part, control Z. So then we're going to do the same thing with this, these two criteria, but for the whole column. But we need to put this inside of the sum product. Now this is an array. We have in the search, let me hit uh, sum product and then tab, right? So the first array for sum product is going to be the search. Now the reason why it's an array is because um, this argument is expecting a single cell and we give it more than one. Now sum product is not going to like the trues and falses, uh, so we have to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros, so I'm going to put double negative. Clo um, so I got double negative in front of that. Now comma, comma, that's the first array, so now I'm going to do comma to get the second array, and now it's simply brrrp, this equals yeah, uh, yes. Now some products are not going to like those trues and false to see this, so I'm going to put parentheses around those and a double negative. Now what the double negative does is it's a unitary operator. It uh, calculates very fast, so a lot of times people like to use this because it calculates faster than other methods of converting from trues and falses to ones and zeros. But double negative turns it to uh, negative one, and then the, the first minus sign will turn it back to one. So that's how we get ones and zeros. Finally, comma double negative open parentheses and then this one right equals that and so that will do it we have three arrays there'll be ones and zeros ones and zeros ones and zeros the sum product will multiply all those and only when we get a one 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 will it count which is here one 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 times one is one some product will add it now this has got array elements but because we're using sum product we don't have to use control shift enter, we just hit enter. Now an interesting problem now, um, in 2007, I'm using 2010 here, if you use a double negative like this, and I have things randomized, and so if I hit F9, in 2007, the double negative when it comes to randomizing functions and recalculating won't recalculate. I have up here the only you can use the keyboard shortcut control alt F9. Now that just made me uh, unhappy in in uh, 2007. The way to get around it in 2007 is to there's lots of ways to convert uh ones and zeros to trues and falses. But one way to do it is inside the sum product you have the first array the is number and then just use the multiplication symbol times the second series of trues and falses and then I'm going to use a multiplication symbol here. And that will always work. You know, A lot of times people put this inside of the sum function and then control shift enter but you can just put whatever this is called boolean logic right? One times one times one will be a one. right? So you can just put that in there and in 2007 
that was one way to get around those double negatives not calculating when you had randomizing functions. By the way, alt equals, um, I can just, um, alt equals is auto sum. If you were to slap that into sum function, then you couldn't hit enter because it would give you a, uh, not the correct answer, but if you control shift enter, and then you could see the curly brackets appear and that would be calculating correctly. So that is counting with three criteria, including an approximate match. In our next video, we'll see how to do this conditional formatting for with an approximate match using the search function. All right, see you next trick.